Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is Durani and Sharif from VG247.com, and we have another quick looks. This time it is chorus. First, Sharif, how are you, man? I'm good, Durani. Back together. <laughs> Again! So, chorus. Chorus, chorus, chorus. So, this is a new game, come out quite recently. You've done a review in progress for it. And you said let's do a let's do a quick video about it. So tell me, it, yeah. tell me about this game. What is what is it all about? So yeah, so it's not Corvus, it's Chorus. Chorus, just, yeah. It, I said yeah. Chorus. No, I know, I know, I know. I, for for people, <laughs> oh. because if you look at the like the styling of the U, it looks like a V. Like if you look at any like poster of that thing, yeah, uh, it looks like a V, and it's it's just uh, just call it questionable styling. <laughs> Uh, oh, it actually does. <laughs> yeah. So, like every everything you look at is like Corvus. What's that mean? It's Corvus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the name makes sense, like within the context of the story. Uh, so it's basically it's a space shooter. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the sort of like the sort of game that we don't get anymore. Uh, I haven't really, you know, I'm not a Nintendo person, so I don't really have an affinity for Star Fox or any of those games. Yeah. But I guess you could compare it to those games in the sense that it's a story driven action space game that is self-contained, you go to different systems, you have a lot of cool abilities, really, really fluid and exciting dogfights. Some yeah. characters show up in kind of portraits on the side, they tell you stuff, mm -hmm. you, you, you talk to them about stuff, and then you move on. It's that kind of game, right? Uh, yeah. It's not the, uh, the simulation-y kind of uh, elite or star citizen angle. Yeah. It's not the... Uh, uh, the the ever space like loot shooter kind of thing where it's like oh I'm building up a deck and like multiple ships you only have one ship in the game yeah uh, it's not you know it's it's a very you know it's like think of it as like a single player story driven you know one of the action games except you're in a ship you know yeah yeah definitely Do you say there's only one ship this is like a a sentient ship though right this is the ship's part of the story yeah tell me about that yeah uh, uh it's called fort forsaken and it, uh, uh and the lady calls it forza for the entire thing and every time she says that i think of the game forza <laughs> uh, and i'm like what what are you talking about for oh uh it's a really that's another questionable thing like don't 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 cut forsaken to forza like that's yeah. not that's not abbreviation that this time <laughs> you know uh, uh uh especially because it sounds like forza anyway uh yeah the the ship is sentient uh and it's this kind of like works on a couple of different levels uh you get the uh the at the, the narrative level, which is like he's constantly or it's constantly talking to Nara, who's the, 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 the protagonist of the game, yeah. uh, like in conversations, it's kind of offering its stake on situations. It's like, do you trust him? You know, it's like think of it as like a companion, like a like a gunner in a ship, yeah. essentially, uh, 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 in, a, in a different game. That would be a, a person that would be a character. Uh, and then they try to loop in his own arc with uh, with hers as far as uh, she used to be part of a, a, a basically a space cult uh, yeah. and then kind of defected when she realized that she's not actually, you know, playing for the good guys. Uh, yeah. She kind of like had a moment of like uh, conscience. It was like, this is this is fuck this. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so the, the game is basically uh, the story of the game is basically her trying to reconcile with that fact and trying to kind of make up for the damage and destruction that she caused. Uh, and also the story of Forsaken, uh, finding out uh, what it really is and, 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 and his whole journey. Uh, and it's like, some, you, you do some really cool, like uh, uh, they try to mix like some Lovecraftian dark space uh, elements, yeah. uh, 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 mysticism uh, with like technology and science. It's not always successful, but it's 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 a neat setup to be like, oh wait, what really? And then you keep going, and it's like some cool revelations happen. Uh, and you know, in combat, they kind of complement each other, and it's like, oh, it's, it's, uh, sometimes actually, like uh, Forsaken would call out like, oh, things that you're not seeing, and, and like, oh, so we're getting close to something, something. Just like, oh, we need to back yeah. off a little bit to get shields or something. So the story holds up, though. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, but it's so far it's interesting. Uh, uh, it can be a little a little bit long in the tooth because you can kind of see some of the stuff that's going to happen. It's not really revolutionary. It's like you know someone defected, they're going back yeah. to kill their old boss. Like that's that's the, oh, the, the, okay. the you know what I mean like the the because they realize that actually he's a bad guy. The 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 the, the minutia and the details of that is is what kind of make it interesting. Uh, uh, but it's not really anything that you know. It's 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 neat that it, that's there, and it's actually it's more than I expected. I saw. I thought it was like oh, it was like some some sci-fi weird like these guys got stole my shipment. Go get them. No, yeah. 
like there's actually more to it than that and and it comes really like the best parts of the story are the boss fights which are a whole different thing in that game are really fun and play on the the the, the really the strongest element of the game which is combat yeah i said in the um because this is one of the games that was featured in the top seven games of december mm. and i said this game looks like it controls really well was i right in in saying that does it handle well like when you're flying the the spaceship absolutely uh i tried it with controller and mouse and keyboard but i i just skipped it to mouse and keyboard because that's what i'm mm. uh, that i'm comfortable with uh it it plays like a dream uh like it's it's it leans a little bit arcadey yeah uh, so it's not you know like even compared to something like everspace it's one step below that or one step closer to the arcade spectrum yeah uh what i mean by this is that it's very responsive uh you're not gonna think about doing a lot of like uh, like plan ahead your moves or like have to worry about like momentum or anything like that uh, the the sacrifice there is that you don't have complete control in the same way that you would have in any of the other kind of simulation y uh, or simulation leaning games. Yeah. Uh, so for example, there's no ascend or descent button. Uh, okay. Uh, so if you point your mouse or your right stick upwards, it's going to move upwards. If you point it down, it's going to move downwards. Uh, you might think like, well, this is this is cool. I don't have to worry about like two other buttons. But sometimes you're trying to aim at something and you're using the same input method for aiming and uh, ascending and descending. It can make it awkward. It can make it weird. Uh, but it's not really, you know, it's, it doesn't really come into play so much that it becomes like, oh, well, uh, this is frustrating. Mm. Uh, but it's so, like, the, the, the feel of combat is so tight. You have really, really good control of the movement. Uh, you can strafe pretty easily. You can do, like, a quick uh, kind of roll to the side to dodge like an incoming missile. Uh, you can basically do anything you would do in an arcade shooter and it feels good. The guns sound good. It, like everything, like the moment to moment, you just love flying in that game and just doing shit. Yeah. And it helps that it looks friggin' gorgeous as well. Yeah. It looks really nice. So this is captured on PC for those watching. It it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like the, I feel like the the areas are not actually as big it's not open world or anything like that is it no it's it's you know i guess it's uh kind of wide linear as, as naughty dog would call it which is like you get into separate systems and every system is big like it's it's got you know like got like maybe four or five size objectives maybe a couple of main missions and then yeah. you leave and then you go to another system that's about the same size uh yeah. there are about six of those in the game and it's not open world like you're you're you can go to any system but it's not it's not open world it's like more of like sectioned off yeah uh kind of areas yeah they do look really nice all of the asteroids you can see like planets in the background and then just the colors with the space the the four the backgrounds look pretty awesome the scale looks quite mad because you're yeah. you're actually flying through some of these some of these like um like i don't know what to call them star systems space bases <laughs> it's yeah it's uh, some of them have like kind of uh, uh, structural like this is a spaceport this is a this is a kind of like a residential a residential area in in space uh, yeah. whereas others are just going to be what you think of when you think of space is like oh just some asteroids and rocks floating around uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of different settings. Some actually, like I've kept out of the videos because they're kind of spoilery, and like they go way beyond that. Uh, and it's neat for you to see them the first time. It's like, oh, really? I didn't even know that game had this one. All right, keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. So, do you recommend it? Do you recommend Chorus? Say, for example, like who, who is this game for? Who would enjoy it? Because this, to me, looks like it's actually for everyone. Because as you said, these games aren't as popular anymore. These games aren't, you don't see them. Uh, they're quite few and far in between. I know you're flying a spaceship, but as you said, it's quite arcadey. So anyone can get to grips with it. But does it, like, who is it for and did you enjoy it? Yeah, I think anyone who uh, really appreciate, appreciates uh, uh, action games in, in general will, will, will do it, uh, will like it because... Uh, because the game is, is so like the the controls are so good and the act and, and the abilities that you get uh, are so satisfying yeah. uh, it's easy to keep track of and a lot of them kind of make combat I don't want to say easy but they make it manageable for people who usually are, get overwhelmed by those kinds yeah. of games uh, I should also mention that there are different difficulty levels I was playing on medium uh, and sometimes it feels like medium a little bit too easy and sometimes like this is this is this is way more than I bargained for yeah uh, and it like kind of ebbs and flows there uh usually when things get tough you're about to get a new power that makes 
all your problems go away. Yeah. And then they introduce something else and you're like, well, how am I supposed to do with this? And then they do give you another power and you're like, oh, I can actually uh, like blink and get behind enemies or I can kind of shatter their shields as I run through them. Uh, yeah, I think if you like that kind of action and just kind of forget that it's a space game where you're flying, yeah, you'll, 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 you'll love it. Uh, also, if you're looking for like a, a, a kind of freelancer type thing without the economy, without the, the, the collection of loot, without the, all that stuff. Yeah, uh, like the fluff. Like, the, mo- the modern day fluff. <laughs> the modern, yeah. Like this is a self-contained thing. Like don't expect this to be like a 50 hour thing that you keep playing for a year. No, this is like the story of the game is about 12-ish yeah. hours. And like I'm towards the end of it. Uh, if you do all the side missions, you're looking at another 12 or 14 hours. Like, you know, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. The weapons in the game are, are you only get upgrades of the same weapons that you have. So you're not going to find some wacky, weird weapons yeah. uh, 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 midway through. It's just what you get is what you get. It's, it's only one ship. It's like, you know, it's, it's not it's not Everspace. Uh, uh, but if you like Everspace and if you think I want something like that with a different feel in a different world with different characters, this is a good game for that. If you just like space shooters in general uh, uh, or games like that, that feel good, you can just put that thing on easy and just have fun. Like it's a yeah. visual spectacle. The sounds are awesome. Uh, it's just neat to like. You feel like an ace pilot because it makes you feel really good about the the, the combat. The, yeah. All the different elements come together, uh, especially late game when you're taking down these capital cruisers and capital ships, and it's like you're going, you're flying in 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 like inside the ship, blowing up the shield generator and then backing out, taking out the turrets and then going back in again to blow up the core and then moving away quickly so that the the blast doesn't get you. Like that's yeah. a fun thing. Uh, like so much fun you can have just with the combat. There's just it's an easy recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. It does. It does look like a lot of fun. I definitely, I definitely wanna wanna give it a try. Not sure when, but I would definitely, definitely give it a try. But I think that wraps it up. To be honest, I've, with these sort of games, it's as you said, it's quite self-contained. It's quite simple. What you mm. see is what you get, and what you get looks freaking great. Yeah. So. That has been Durani and Sharif from VG247 for a quick look at Chorus. Peace out, everyone. Peace.